What up BTV squad bro here and welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here I'm Bruno and you just stumbled across my YouTube channel guys today's video is a what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max I have been wanting to do this video for a minute because I got this phone and I never got to actually make a video of what's on my phone before this video does get started, there will be a, time, a timestamp right here. If you want to skip to the actual start of this video, go ahead and write in and do so. Before I do get started, I do want to say, even in my last video, I didn't get to apologize for taking some time off from YouTube. I took some time off. I was going through a lot of personal stuff. I was busy. I was working on stuff. And yeah, it took time away from YouTube, unfortunately. But... I am back and we're gonna go back to our regularly scheduled content. I am hurrying up. I do got stuff to do and I do got a plane to catch with Bradley because we are going back to LA. So we got, we, I got a lot of work, I do. Alrighty, so for those of you that didn't watch my unboxing video or have never watched any of my videos, I do have the iPhone 15 Pro Max in the natural titanium color. Um, it's a really nice phone. It is, but it's not my favorite phone or iPhone that I've ever had my favorite it was definitely like a rushed phone something here went wrong I don't know what it was but I don't, I don't I don't I'm not the biggest fan of it this phone does not have that good of a battery life at all I'm sorry it's very it's a very mid phone in my opinion it was a waste of money in my opinion my 13 Pro Max I feel like performed better for me which is sad to say but it is the truth Alrighty guys, so my lock screen is this. It's a car meet picture that I got off Pinterest, I believe. Um, I like the aesthetic of it. I think it's something that I relate to and I really like, so I set that as my lock screen. Now when you swipe up and go home, you're immediately greeted by my wallpaper, which is 777. Good luck. Angel numbers, um, they mean something good is coming, I believe so, I forgot already, but um, I did have something with these triple digits for a while and I said it was my lock screen and I haven't changed it since. I do have multiple like lock screen variations and home screen variations I had to swipe through but if it's not this one it's another special lock screen to me so yeah. Um, the first thing you see is my motivation quotes on top. It does say you will make a difference with every little thing that you do. Keep it up. These change throughout the day. I really recommend this motivation app. Um, when I'm feeling low, there's been times where that app sends me the right quote. And it's done it so many times that it's like, damn, are you really like listening to me? Like chill out, you know, it's, it's pretty accurate. Um, but you could he go here and love the ones that you- If you're looking for a quick, easy way to make- You could love the ones that you really like. So you could save those and literally set to show you the ones that you've loved before. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, it is a free app, but you have to pay for premium features, which I don't pay for it because I'm not gonna do that. So um, if you do I'll wait for these ads to wait, but once you, do um change the quote it'll stay for i'll stay on that quote for a while it will change after a certain amount of time though um take the risk or lose the chance there you go we're gonna favorite that one leave it and it'll change there you go um on this side on my widgets i just have my calendar my reminders my batteries noon light um, Noonlight is this app where basically you call for help. It's like a silent panic button and it's a free app and I really recommend it to anyone because you never know when you might need a panic alarm that's silent because you may not be able to speak for whatever reason. I really recommend that app. And then I have Steps app. It shows me um, every all my steps throughout the day. Once we swipe over, we have my weather home screen, my weather widget, sorry. Um, I love knowing the weather, I love how it's going to be outside when I go outside or whatever. So my first folder is my social folder. I have my Gmail, my Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, Splice, Pinterest, CapCut, Motivation, the app I was just talking about, Urban Dictionary, and I have GIF Cap. Um, everyone knows on here what everything is, maybe not Splice. Splice is an editing app. I used to use this app when I used to edit on my phone. 
I don't really use it no more, but I still do keep it because there is a couple things that I do like to do on that. CapCut is, um, I think, templates for TikTok. Yeah, they are. And Urban Dictionary, I think we all know what that is, but it's stupid, like, definitions for stuff. And GIFCat is GIFs. My other folder has really nothing in it. I just have my Outlook, Outlook email, my Soundtrap. Soundtrap is a music making app. It's really cool. You could go on there, make music, create your own type of music, record yourself, edit your vocals, everything. It's a whole music production app. And I do really enjoy having fun on there. So try it if you really are into making your own type of music or want to experiment with the music. Go ahead and download it. It's 100% free. Group me, that's just for my work. At our job, we have a group chat on GroupMe, and yeah, that's really it. <laughs> steps app, again, is to track the steps I take, how many calories I burn and whatnot. And my Apple folder has all the Apple apps, so a lot. So face all the normal FaceTime apps, I mean Apple apps, it's on there. Everything's on there. I think my most used out of here is definitely notes. I love using my notes. I put everything, everything down on my notes, so always using that my work folder has YouTube studio that just shows me everything about this YouTube channel how the YouTube channel is doing if it's red or green that's really the easiest way to explain it to you um, PixArt that's just an editing app but for pictures I use it for my thumbnails Amuse is a music distribution app I don't use it anymore I don't use Amuse anymore for my music for those of you that didn't know I make music but I use uh, DistroKid, so Amuse, I'm sorry, but I feel like DistroKid was a little bit better for me. Um, Amuse is free though to distribute your music. DistroKid does not have a free trial or a free plan, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, Cash App, PayPal, Credit Karma, Experian, everybody knows that. Um, T-Mobile Internet, we've recently switched from cable internet to T-Mobile Internet and honestly the experience with um, at least T-Mobile home internet has been really good in my like experience. With T-Mobile Internet, we've experienced a lot better upload speeds, but download speeds are still like crazy fast when you have cable or fiber. So. Can't complain about T-Mobile Internet though, at least in my location or my area, it is really good and it is really quick and I can't complain about it, honestly. Then I have Creators app. This app is literally just to control my camera. I'm not even signed in, but it is a Sony app and I do have a Sony camera, so I can literally record everything on my phone, control my camera from my phone, basically. Um, Govi Home is this app for my LED lights, so for my car, I literally control everything from this app. I could make them have a specific theme, color, the dimness, to go along with the music, everything on this app, so that's really cool, and I really love my LED lights. For my shopping folder, I do have Nike, Foot Locker, Amazon, Uni Days, Starbucks, Uber, Hollister, and Sneakers. Um, I think the only the only app here that you probably might not know of is Uni Days. It's just student discounts. Get the app. I recommend it 100% to get the app and try to get discounts on whatever you can. It's student discounts, just go for it. Um, that is also what I use for my Apple Music student plan. So Apple Music is like five bucks cheaper compared to you know the regular price. Go for shopping mostly for shoes i do have a sneaker problem so i try not to go on there t-mobile is just to pay my phone bill target and fashion nova fashion nova has some decent deals you just gotta like see when to go on there and you'll get some really good deals honestly it's clothing by the way for those of you that don't know next is my tv folder Netflix, Apple TV, Hulu, um, Peacock, Disney Plus, Discord, and YouTube. I think everybody knows what those are. Um, yeah. My daily folder has Ring, Smart Life, Weather, Wells Fargo, Discover, Capital One, Google Maps, Amazon Alexa, Chase, and Call of Duty. Um, Ring, that's for all the cameras around my house. <clears throat> Smart Life, 
that's for like smart plugs that I have around my house and you connect them to Amazon Alexa so they turn on and off with a timer or you could tell Alexa to turn on and off the lights or the switch, right? Um, then I do have a bunch of banking apps. It's not even get into that, but uh, yeah. And then Call of Duties. I do have a boring phone. Like I have a very adult phone. I'm sorry. Like I don't know what y'all were expecting. You're probably expecting some good stuff, but no, I I, I don't I don't have that. I'm sorry. Um. And then my other folder, which is my last folder, has Musi, that's free music. Then I have Ghost Tube SLS, that's like a ghost camera. Basically what they use in paranormal investigations where like it maps out figures on the camera. Figures that we can't see with our own eyes, right? So we're not opening that right now. But it is pretty cool and it has mapped out figures before in my house. Obviously we don't know how good it is at that because it is an app. It's not like the actual system that they use, but... Who knows, right? Spotify, it's just free. I have it there, I don't use it. Uh, Chick-fil-A, wrong folder, but I don't know why it's there. The Holy Bible, I do like to do my daily verses in the morning, or mostly in the morning, but if I don't have a chance in the morning throughout the day, I'll find a time and do my daily verses. And then Exxon Mobile, you need this right here. Get rewarded for your freaking fuel because Gas is expensive and at least get points. Honestly, just at least try to get some type of points on your gas. It doesn't have to be excellent, but just do it for whatever gas station that you go to, please. And then the last couple of apps I do have on the outside are Contacts, Noonlight, again, is that free panic button app, download it. The App Store, Camera, Maps, Wallet, Kia Access, that's to basically control my car from my phone anywhere that I am, Snapchat, and then I have my phone, Safari, Messages, and Apple Music. Also, I'm sorry for taking the time that I did off, but we're trying to get back on the grind, and hopefully you guys are here to stick around. I have a plane to catch, I have things to do, and I have to um, run to the bathroom real quick because I drink too much coffee. It's about to come out, bro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you guys want to see next. Turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.